Hello, welcome to uh, today's Unicycle.com video. Today we're, um, we've been asked to do a penny farthing video. So this is UDC penny farthing. Um, I'm sure you all know it, I mean it's UDC penny farthing. Um, the good news, and one of the reasons we're doing the video is, they're coming back in stock at last. So in October we've got all sizes coming in stock. But back to the request. We were asked, can we do the how do you get on and how do you get off the penny farthing again? Well, come on guys, we've already done this, but we were requested, we'll do it again. But it's raining, and I mean, it is absolutely pouring it down outside. I'm not going outside. So we're in a warehouse. Um, our warehouse is not massive. It's not small, but it's not massive. And this is not going to be ideal for a penny farthing video. But it brought up another point. How do you turn around on a space this small on a penny farthing? Now, on a unicycle, no problem. On a penny farthing, let me show you what happens. So this is straight, bang, going along, great. But what happens when you turn the handlebars? So what happens here is, the wheel gets in the way of your legs. So your legs actually will hit or be hit by the wheel. And the pedal is there. Your crutch is there. And what happens is it pushes your foot off the pedal. So how do you do those tight corners? Let me demonstrate. So. We'll do this a few times, and I will do the mount, and I'll do the dismount. So, in fact, I'll start over here so you can see the mount. So, important things on the mount is toes on the pegs. So, bottom peg, top peg, sit on a seat, not pedals. Only when you're sitting on a seat, Handlebars are ready, then you put the feet on the pedals. It's the very last thing you do is the pedals. So I will demonstrate. I'm going to give myself a little bit of a, uh, a run up here. So toes on, push, top, seat, and we're away. Now, turning. If I lift my foot up, I actually don't touch the tyre. There you go. That's today's tip. You can just do it by lifting your leg a little bit. Or you can do, you know, you can be flash about it. So we can, you know, be daft. Now, let's show you getting off. So, toes on the back. And down. Okay. I will do that demonstrated again, just in case you missed it, but from the rear. So we're going to reverse it, okay? So, toe on the peg, toe on the peg, seat, pedals. With a push, and away we go. Now, foot back, oops, I actually used the wrong peg, doesn't really matter. And some people go from the top peg to the ground I often do actually. It's not a problem to do that. Um, you'll find coming down is often easier than it is going up. And never try and go off the side of a penny farthing. You will bring it down with you. And as the penny farthing leans over, it pushes you off the side. Very dangerous, so always off the back. So that's everything on this very short and slightly quirky um, video for today. Thank you very much for watching. Can you please do the YouTube thing by liking the video, liking the channel, share it, blah, blah, blah. Comment some below. Love the comments. Thank you very much for watching. Catch you later. Getting on, I'm, we've shown this in the video before, so I'm sure you, you can remember this, but I'll show it again. Toes on the pegs, up on the seat, feet on the pedals. So, up we go. I'm on. Now, I'm going to do a turn. And 
Yeah, I am being daft, but it's sensible. I'm actually... Oh, <laughs> 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 Can we start again? <laughs>